This video explains what is new in Circle Mobile version 4. There are three ways to get the latest version. You can download the app from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, which will replace your existing version. You can remove the existing app and get Dispatch to send you a new link to download the new app. Or you can remove the existing app, download it from the App Store, and get Dispatch to send you the activation code. The easy way to upgrade to version 4 is to download the app from the Apple App Store for Apple devices or the Google Play Store for Android devices. The app will replace whatever version you have on your device. Then go to the About page on the app to verify you are on version 4 or higher. The complete refresh way to upgrade the app is as follows. Have the driver remove the existing app from their device. Then have the driver reboot the device to clear the cache memory. Dispatch then sends the driver a new link via text. The driver clicks the link in the text message, which downloads the latest version of the app and sets the device token to link the device to the driver profile. If the new link will not work, send them the activation code. They can enter the activation code to set the device token. New with this release is the ability to activate the app with a code. If the app is downloaded but not activated, Dispatch can send the driver an activation code. The driver enters the activation code to establish the device token. So here's a summary of what's new in version 4. First, the screens are divided into panels. Two, the panels can be expanded and collapsed. Three, order attributes are a new panel on the main screen. Four, order reference numbers are visible by clicking on the order number on the main screen. Five, Order reference numbers are visible on all events of arrived, load, and empty screens. Six, the order stop contact name, phone, and cell numbers appear on each stop. Seven, phone numbers are clickable to auto-dial them. Eight, part numbers appear on the load event screen. Nine, the add note panel is added in all stop event screens. Ten, there's a new profile main menu option that shows information about you. Eleven, the driver in and out of service self-management functions, and 12, the about screen shows key device settings. New in this version is panels. There's more data shown on each screen, which can make it difficult to find information. So information is now divided into panels. For example, on the main order screen, the panels will appear as follows. The manifest offer section, order header info panel, the order stop panel, the notes panel, and something new in version 4 is the order attributes panel. To make it easier to see important data on a small user interface, the panels can collapse and expand by clicking on the arrows at the top and the bottom of each panel. This way the driver can focus on the part of the screen data that applies to the function they are performing. A new section will appear at the bottom of the main screen to show attributes associated to the order. This could be links like liftgate, pallet jack, blankets, etc. This lets the driver know about any special attributes the shipper has asked for. On the main screen, all the order numbers for the manifest will appear. Clicking on the order number will show the shipper's reference number. This is often the number the driver needs when picking up a shipment or crossing a border. On each event screen, the arrive, load, or empty, it will also show the shipper's reference number. Again, this is often the number the driver needs when picking up a shipment or crossing a border. On each event screen, arrive, load, and empty, when stop contact phone numbers appear, they will be clickable to make it easy to call the number. If part numbers are stored with the order, the part numbers, descriptions, and quantities will appear on the loaded screen. The driver will need to scroll to the bottom of the loaded event screen to see the part numbers. Whenever the driver does an event screen, like arrive, load, or empty, there will be a new panel where they can enter free form notes. If the driver submits notes with an event, the note creates a dispatch alert event in the trip monitor. Dispatchers will need to clear that alert in the dispatch system. There is a new menu option along the bottom of the app called Profile. This screen is divided into three panels. The first panel will show the driver email, cell phone number, and assigned truck. The second panel will show their current and future service status. The four different status options are on a load, in service and available to work, out of service and unavailable to work, and unconfirmed in service. In this panel, the driver might have the ability to request to go out of service or put themselves back in service. It depends if dispatch gives them the authority to do these actions. The third panel shows the service history of the driver. It will list all their historical in and out of service events, dates, times, and duration. Each event can be clicked to see more details. The dispatch office can determine if they will allow the drivers to request to go out of service or put themselves back in service. 
Please see the documentation on how this works and the controls that are in place. There is a separate video with details on how this feature works. Documentation can be found in the Documentation tab and then the Docs grid, left menu, and then the Asset folder. The About screen has been completely rewritten to show key device settings that could affect the ability to track and communicate with the device. If the device is not tracking or cannot communicate with dispatch, drivers need to go to this screen and check the various settings. If there are errors on the screen, the driver and dispatchers are encouraged to use the Circle Mobile Prompt Determination Guide to assist with fixing any issues. So here's a summary of what's new in version 4. First, the screens are divided into panels. Two, the panels can be expanded and collapsed. Three, order attributes are a new panel on the main screen. Four, order reference numbers are visible by clicking on the order number on the main screen. Five, Order reference numbers are visible on all events of arrived, load, and empty screens. Six, the order stop contact name, phone, and cell numbers appear on each stop. Seven, phone numbers are clickable to auto-dial them. Eight, part numbers appear on the load event screen. Nine, the add note panel is added in all stop event screens. Ten, there's a new profile main menu option that shows information about you. Eleven, the driver in and out of service self-management functions, and 12, the about screen shows key device settings. This has been a summary of what's new in version 4 of the Circle Mobile app.